Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bennett. I'm back. We're starting a new section today. We're going to start looking at non-renewable energy, energy forms. And that's what this whole section is about. It's different types of energy. Where do we get it? How do we produce it? How do we change our energy from one type to another, which we've already done a little bit of, but we're going to get more specific into society now. Um, we're in chapter eight of the textbook, if you're following along with me with the book. Uh, and today we're going to start with non-renewable energy. Uh, and like I said, the focus for this section is on the energy we use not all resources like food or building materials or different things like that uh, and like i said non-renewable resources these are resources which do not replenish and replenish means to kind of refill or recover uh, so we can use these resources and over time they will recover themselves but uh, it takes such a long time it doesn't happen in my lifetime and that's why we consider them non-renewable because once we use them up they're gone for all intents and purposes uh, the major type of non-renewable energy is fossil fuels and this is energy believe it or not that is derived from dead plants or animals uh, fossil fuels, the three big fossil fuels are coal, oil, like crude oil coming out of the ground and seeing that black thick tar. Um, that's O-I-L, not ore, sorry. Oil and natural gas. Natural gas. Uh, you use all three of these things every single day, even if you don't know it. Um, we'll be talking about how and where, but the, for now, coal, oil, and natural gas are the big three non-renewable resources. And they're all generated roughly the same way. We've got a diagram here for coal specifically. So millions of years ago, there were swamps everywhere. Indiana used to be underground. Kentucky used to be underground. Uh, I'm sorry, not underground, underwater. Uh, there used to be a big ocean here. Um, and there were swamps before even that. So a lot of plant material, a lot of, a lot of what's called peat. And as that plant material died, it would kind of aggregate on the ground. And then here in the second, you know, about 100 million years ago, so we're talking dinosaur time, uh, those dead plants were crushed by water and dirt and silt and other things. And over time, that starts to increase the pressure as things pile up on top. And as it gets hotter, um, the deeper down you go, it gets hotter because it's crushing it down. It turns eventually into what we call coal. Um, oil is very similar. You've got a little bit more animal material in there than dead plant material. Um, and natural gas, again, is similar. You change up the ratios a little bit and you get different types of fossil fuels, but they all form in the same way. Stuff was alive millions of years ago. It died. It got crushed and compressed into what we call net fossil fuels now. Um, and just some facts and figures. Let me make sure I give you some correct numbers here. In 2015, uh, the United States generated 67% of its energy from fossil fuels. So that includes transportation. It includes electricity. It includes heat. Um, if we look at just transportation, for instance, that jumps to 95%. So 95% of how we get around outside in our cars or our buses or whatever it comes from fossil fuels. That's a lot of energy. We depend on this a lot. Um, and so the current estimate is that our, our appetite for fossil fuels is going to actually increase um, as we move through this century. They're saying that 80%, 80% of the United States energy needs, it's an eight, eight zero percent of the United States energy will be supplied by fossil fuels in 2040. So 35 years from now, we're not going to decrease our need of fossil fuels at the rate we're going. If we talk about the world, it's a little bit lower, about 75%, but still it's a significant investment. A significant amount of uh, weight is put on fossil fuels. They're very, very, very important, especially for developing nations. And we're gonna talk about this in society a little bit more, but we rely on these things very, very heavily. Um, another type of non-renewable that I want to talk about in this video, just to introduce it, is nuclear power. Uh, the United States started building nuclear reactors in 1957. Um, so back in the mid-50s, after World War II, kind of the, you know, the American, not the Industrial Revolution, but kind of the, uh, the Information Revolution is starting to come around, the Technological Revolution. Uh, we started building these reactors, but we haven't built any since 1977. So all of our nuclear reactors, there's one in Indiana, the, the Palisades Nuclear Power Plant. Um, they've all been built that none of them have been built in the last 40 years. So our infrastructure is starting to wear down a little bit. Now, nuclear reactors are non-renewable, or they use a non-renewable fuel called uranium-235. It's like a flavor of, of this element, uranium. Um, and it's mined. It comes out of the ground. We have to dig it up. Uh, and that's why it's non-renewable. It's a, it's a mineral that we have to you know, go into mines, dig out, and then we refine it into this uranium-235, um, like a concentrated form that we can use in our reactors. But that's why it's non-renewable, because it comes out of the ground. Uh, and there's two kinds of nuclear energy. There's fission, which is what we do. Hooray! 
Okay, let me, I'm going to show you, put this, the nice big blue star. Fission is what we do. We can take atoms and we can split them. But there's also a reactor called fusion, or reaction, rather, there's a better word, called fusion, which is joining nuclei. And this happens in stars. Stars are big fusion reactors. Uh, we cannot do this yet, but it's on our, on our plate. It's things that we're working on, and we're going to talk about that why later. If you have questions about anything, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, otherwise, you can ask me a question in class if you're one of my students. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you with the next video.